Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to install Kokoro TTS on your local system. Maybe you are using Windows or Linux and I will also show you how to run it on Google Colab. I copied the code from Hugging Face 82M and uh, this Hugging Face space and modify a little bit so I can make a Gradio app. Okay, let's see how to install Kokoro TTS. I am using Python 3.10. First open a folder where you want to install. Then you need to open a terminal, click on the file path and type cmd and hit enter. It will open it a uh, terminal in that uh, folder. Then copy the first command that is git clone, then this repo, paste it and uh, hit enter. It will uh, download all the files from this GitHub. So here is the files. Then copy the second command that is cd kokoro 82m obby paste it here and hit enter now we are inside uh, this folder like we are here then we need to create a virtual environment or you can skip the virtual environment part but it's better if you use a virtual environment uh, paste the code here and hit enter now we created a virtual environment so here you can see my env now we need to activate the virtual environment and if you are in windows copy this command and paste it here we successfully enable the virtual environment i mean we activated the virtual environment now we will clear the screen cls for windows and uh, if you are on linux you need to copy this command but we are in windows then we need to install pytorch before that we need to uh, get our CUDA version because we will run this on GPU. You can run it on CPU but we will still run it on GPU. It will more faster. Copy this command and paste it here. So it will tell you your CUDA version. So as you can see my CUDA version is CUDA 11.8. After you getting your CUDA version then you need to visit this PyTorch installation page here you can see different CUDA version. Assume your CUDA version is 12.1 or 12.4. So you need to click on that. Then you will get PyTorch for different CUDA version. In my case, my CUDA version is 11.8. I will pick CUDA 11.8 and copy the command. Then I will come back here and make a link like this. So I need to remove Torch Vision and uh, torch audio and i need to remove uh three here so it will look like this pip install torch and uh, your cuda version link then i will uh, copy this command from here and uh, paste it here and uh, hit enter it will take some time you just need to wait we successfully install pytorch now i will again clear the screens then i need to install all the requirement packages for that you need to copy this command pip install dash a requirement dot text and uh, it will take some time just wait and uh, we successfully install all the requirement packages and clear screen cls and hit enter and uh, now we need to download the models paste the command python download model dot py and hit enter so what it will does uh, let me open the Hugging Face model hub. It will download the original model that is Kokoro V019.pth and uh, a Quantage version. Actually, it's a half of the original models. It reduced the output quality, but it make it faster. And uh, we are downloading all the voice pack. So we have here 12 voice pack. They provide this code so we can mix two voices like we pick uh, Bella and Sarah and uh, we make a new voice that is AF so we can combine two voice and make a new voice. I add these features in uh, this download model.py so we make new voices combine of every possibilities with these 12 voices. If I open our folder inside this Kokoro folder we download the Kokoro v019 dot pth and the quantage model here and inside the voice pack we have this default 12 voices and we mix the voice with each other 
and uh, make new voices and uh, if you don't want the new voices just you want to go with the default voices in the download model.py you can comment this line so you only get these 12 voices okay enough talking so we successfully download all the models and the voice pack let me clear the screen and we make a bat file so we can run by one click uh, now we need to install speak ng if you are using windows click on this link and scroll down then you need to install speak ng msi for my case that is speak ng x64 because my system is 64 bit click on this it will download the speak ng then open in the folder and uh, click on this and click on next and choose i accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next and click on next and click on install and click on yes and click on finish you need to make sure that we need to install this on c drive then program files then inside speak ng folder so to verify it open uh, your files and click on the new tab click on this pc then click on c drive then click on program files then uh, find speak ng as you can see we have this uh, folder here uh, make sure if you are in windows you successfully install speak ng in this folder if you are in linux you just need to copy this command and run it on your terminal to run it make sure you are inside your virtual environment in my case I am already inside my virtual environment. If you are not, then you need to copy this command. Then you need to copy this uh, Python app.py and paste it here and hit enter. Here you can see we successfully load the model and here is our gradual link. Click on that Google Chrome beta just once. And here is the interface. We also create a bat file when we run this command that was uh, python download model.py. So if I close this one, open your Cocoa82M OBY folder, here you can get a run app.bat file. If you don't want to type every time like open a terminal, then enable the virtual environment, then run python app.py. So you can use this command, just double click on that. Maybe you need to click on verify, then it will automatically set up the virtual environment and run the Gradio apps. So you don't need to write those comments on terminal every time. So click on that uh, open with google chrome beta and here we are i am using this external mic audio instead of rtx audio so there is a high chance you are not getting the actual kokoro tts output because it's recording from here you can try with your own and get the idea but believe me the output quality is very good i wrote hi how are you uh, then you need to choose a voice first 12 are the default one what I was talking about this one and this below voice are mix of each other just choose a voice pack and click on generate and uh, here's the output quality hi how are you and uh, here is the default setting by default it using the original model and uh, you can change it to the quantage model that is the half of the original size we get some additional features uh, for that I need a long text and uh, this webby can handle a large text let me open chat gpt write a five line story on a cat hit enter and copy this one and paste it here and uh, this code can handle large text first you will choose your voice pack i mean your voice name i will choose a bella and uh, you can either choose your original model or the quantage model the half one uh, because uh, i want the better output quality i will choose the first one and uh, first let me run with the default setting click on generate and here you get an option Whiskers. that is uh, autoplay so after clicking on generate it will automatically play the audio so you can disable this one by uncheck the autoplay option and it takes just a few seconds to generate this uh, one, two, three, five line. And uh, here's the result. 
Whiskers, a curious tabby cat, found a mysterious glowing key under the couch. She carried it in her mouth, meowing loudly to get her owner's attention. As the key touched the old locked chest in the attic, it clicked open. Inside, Whiskers discovered a stash of toys, treats, and a note. For the best cat in the world. Her owner smiled, realizing their grandma had left it just for Whiskers to find. Now go with this uh, remove silences from text. If you would check this one, it will remove the silences that is more than 0.05 second. If I click on generate, you will see there is no silences in the audio. You see there is no silences gap here. And uh, this parameter uh, keeps silence up to in second mean you are keeping maximum 0.05 second of silence. If the silence is more than 0.05 second, you are going to delete that silence. So I covered this one, uh, remove silences from TTS. It's with this second parameter. Now we are talking about this uh, speed parameter. Let me write just normal text. I love cat. Then click on generate. Here is the audio. I love cat. This is the default speed that is one. So you can change it like 0.25x. Uh, so you just need to write 0.25 here or 0.5 or you can like uh, use this slider to uh, make it slower or faster. Let me first slow this one. Click on generate. I love cat. So you can also slow it like 0.025x. Um, I love cat. And you can make it faster like if you are increasing this one and click on generate. I love cat. I love cat. So we cover this speed parameter. Now we are going to uh, use this trim parameter. Let me set this speed to default. And I will uh, again uh, just use this text. I love cat and click on generate. And here's the audio. I love cat. You can see here in the starting and in the ending, there is some silence. For that, you can use this parameter that is trim. So if I use like uh, trim one second, that mean we will trim one second in the beginning and uh, trim one second in the end. But we keep all the silences in between. So if I click on generate, just notice this area. Let me play the audio here. I love cat. And you see there is uh, probably a few seconds of silence in the beginning and in the end. And uh, now we need to talk about this parameter pad between that mean like I said in the ch uh, chat GPT write a large story on cat it will uh, provide me a long text what we are doing to handle the large text we will uh, taking two line each time so first two line then second two line then third one then go on and we will uh, passing the chunk to the model and generating the text to speech and at the end we are combining all the audio to make the final output assume we are taking this first two line and then second two line so in between those two line we can increase the silences like i have two audio like hi how are you then i have another audio that is uh, do you know me so if i add this like uh, two second so it will say hi how are you then pause for two second then it will take uh, do you know me uh, like this one so I will copy this uh, text from here and uh, control a control B and uh, you can choose any voice from here and uh, click on generate let me copy this all text from here and paste it in the word count uh, we have 716 words and 4062 characters and it take only 20 seconds and uh, you can see here between this each segment it adding this extra silence that is two seconds here if you zoom it here you can see and uh, if you use this remove silence feature so it will remove all the silences from your audio you can see here 17 second 18 second hash, hash, hash. you can see here only 19 second it take and uh, if you want to run this on Google Colab so it's very easy you just need to come here and click on open in Google Colab 
and uh, you need to click on this cell run anyway then you need to click on this cell and just wait and it's same tutorial like we are git clone then we are installing this uh, speak ng then we are downloading all the models from hugging face then we are installing all the requirement packages and uh, then we are clear the output uh, from this cell and then we are going inside this cocoa82m gradio folder and uh, running this app.py and we have a, a extra parameter that is a dash dash share that will uh, share the public link so you can run it on google colab just wait for a second model loaded successfully and here is our gradio link and i can write hi how are you and uh, hit enter for the first time it will take some time and here is the output hi how are you and a uh, fun fact it can handle like if you are getting this kind of uh, emojis so it will remove that one if i play it like here hi how are you so you see it uh skip the emoji and we have a uh, api features assume you want to use this text to speech on your voice assistant or any other project i hope you will not install kokoro tts for your every project so you can like uh, run this gradio app here and here if you scroll down here you can see use via api option and if you scroll down you can get this code i have the similar structure here uh, you need to just uh, open your gradio app and copy the url from here or you can use like use via api and only copy this url from here and uh, paste it here it's same uh, for me and uh, here is the parameter like text whatever you want to generate like i can generate uh, like here uh hi i love to eat ice cream and uh, you need to give your voice model name uh, so you can give this one either kokoro v0 underscore 19.pth or this one and then you need to give your voice name for the voice name you can uh, pick any name from here and uh, then uh, speed by default speed is one you can uh, change it and then trim equal to zero i better if you don't touch this one and uh, then uh, remove silence equal to true or false if you check true then it will remove all the silences from the uh, audio and minimum silence is 0 0.05 so it will delete all the silences that is more than 0 0.05 so you can just play with it and if i click on run here so it will uh, create a new uh, temp audio folder here and it will provide me the audio here so you are making a voice assistant project so you just need to copy this code from here and uh, paste it there and you can use it and uh, all credit goes to kokoro uh, official hugging face model hub and uh, this kokoro tts space from uh, them i just wrote some little bit code to uh, make it work i don't have uh, much uh, knowledge about those license which i know that if it's under apache license so i can uh, copy the code and uh, edit little bit and if it's under mit license so it's completely open source uh, you can visit the hugging face report to know more about their uh, licenses and uh, i'll put this github link on my description you can check it out and bye guys